Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 lead code challenge. Today we have lead code 547, numbers of province, also named as friends circle before. Today, the description is there are N cities. Some of them are connected while some are not. If city A is connected directly to B and B connected directly to C, then A is indirectly connected to C. A province is a group of directly or indirectly connected cities and no other city outside of that group. So in here, this is example. So one is connected to two and also two is connected to one. And this is one group. While three is not connected to one and two, so this three is identified by as a um, second group. But in here, they are using an n time n matrix. So n is the number of city. So n time n matrix. So I make it visualizable by showing you this graph. So we think a, B, C is one, two, three. So that means A is connected to A and A also connected to B in this row, but A is not connected to C. So if they're connected, they will, ha they will have a one in this indicator. And B is same thing. So while B is connected to A, B is connected to B for sure, and doesn't connect to C. Individually, C only connected to themselves and no other cities in here too. So this is the same as this graph, but in the matrix. Uh, how we tackle this question is, now we can start with our helper function. We can loop through every city, which is A, B, C. It's the city that we need to um, move and need to connect and check. So we start with A and now we get to bring A to the helper function and the helper function we check um, is this place visit or not. Now they will process, the helper function will process every city that connected to A in this row. In here, A is connected to A, B is connected to A, they will, uh, firstly, they will put this inside the place that is called visit. So now A is visit. Then we go to uh, recursive doing B. So now it's here's a connection. We will have to do that recursive function again by searching B. Now in B, since A is visit already, we, we don't need to care. So this is the next thing that connected to B in B's row. Now this uh, things here, we are doing it right now. We had to put B in the visit node. So the array have A and B is called visit. And it's done for, for A and B right now. So at the, after that, we plus one into how many province. We store that number as a count. So we have one count right now. And C, because since they C is not visited because they're not connected to any node in A and B, then we individually loop to C and see anything that connected to C, it's only C. So now we put this inside the visit. So we have A, B, C visited already. And this process will have individual province then we put that into the counter, so we have two. Let's take a look at the code, and I'll come back here and explain a little bit more. Now we started with a visit. Arrays equal to new uh, int. We only need uh, is connect that link is the N that we are looking for is that how many node, how many city total. It's connected the city. Okay, it's cool. And in nums is the city 
how many provinces that we're looking for. And here we have loop through every city. Every city mean um, i is equal to zero. So I have zero. i is less than. We have n, right? n, which is connect that link cities and i is plus plus. Loop through that one and we check is that city is visited. Is i equal to zero? Okay. In here, initialize uh, this array. So all the city will be zero. So now if the check is zero, they're not visited. That's why there's zero. If they're visited, we put it to one. So now it's not visited. Then we do the helper function. Um, we can do that later. So numbers plus plus. So what is helper function? Let's build a helper function. We'll take in um, the is connect and the array of visit. And the node, the current city that we are working on, which is I. We're working on one by one. We bring, we look through every city and work on one by one. This is the city that we are work, currently working on. So for that city, we will look through every uh, connection. If they have connection, they will show the one. So now we bring current city, for example, A. In this place, we loop through every ones in this array. That means that they have connection. So we have a J is equal to zero. J is less than con is connected. Oh, sorry, it's J. J plus plus. We look through this array, just like what we said. And if this array is one, is connected. I is the one that we're looking for, the row we're looking for. And J is the current connection. Is this number is equal to one. In the same time, uh, visited uh, J is not is equal to zero. That means it's not visited. In here, for example, in here we're looking for oh, A is not visited, B is not visited, and check if they are visited or not. If they haven't been visited, and um, we can make this with um, current row, current connection, which is J equal to one. So that means visited. After that, we will do a recursive DFS search for this particular J position by bringing the connect, visit the same J. And that will search the connections connection. So that's one uh, operation for searching one province. After that, it should be good. And then we have to put in is connected and visited. And I is the one that we're looking for. And we, and this should be it for this uh, DFS solution. Oh yes, we have to return numbers of province.
cool. Um, it looks good. Yeah, it passed. And this is the solution for uh, this question. Now we can look back and see what it go. Now we look through um, every column because they have three uh, CD that we need to process. In this CD, A, we look through all oh, is A and B, uh, anything that we have connection. If A has connection, put it, put it to the visit and make this uh, become zero. And here, now we have one uh, B, then we go to B in search. B or uh, have A, because since A is in that uh, visit list, visited list, that so we don't do anything. And B, we need to redo the B. And that's is one. Now, by only searching A, we bring up the connection B in one transaction. So this is it. And after that, we don't need to search B because in this original loop, we're supposed to loop to every um, every city. But because B is connected to A, then in A's transactions, they will process B and B's related city. So yeah, this is one province. And if, if C have more connection, and this helper function will recursively work on those connection until they return it back to the main for loop. Then that's it for this question. Hopefully you, you get it. And if you have any question, please comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.